Greetings, pen pals. Don't have a fountain pen uh, this time. Uh, we have a bolt action ballpoint pen from our friends at Bastion Pens, who were really nice enough to send this for, uh, for evaluation. And I thank them very much. And uh, I'm gonna basically tell you what I think about it. I am a pen enthusiast. I primarily, as you know, if you watch this channel, discuss fountain pens, uh, although not exclusively. I featured all sorts of uh, all ballpoint pens over the years. Um, not the least of which is stuff like this cool uh, pizza pen from Retro 51 from a few years ago. This is still one of my favorites. Um, well, let's talk about this Bastion uh, Bolt Action uh, ballpoint pen. So this is a ballpoint. They do make other uh, types of writing instruments. They do make some fountain pens and, and, and um, mechanical pencils, etc. Uh, so I would encourage you to check their website. Uh, uh, I'm going to have a link in the show notes. There's also a promo code. If you decide you'd like to order any of their products, please uh, avail yourself of the promo code, which is featured uh, in, in, the, uh, in the show description, and you will be able to get a discount. So, and again, thanks again to the folks at Bastion for, uh, for offering that up. So let me get one thing out of the way first. This is a heavy pen. Now, I like a nice heavy pen. It's an extremely well balanced. It's not like top heavy, it's not bottom heavy. It's really just the right amount of heaviness, but this thing weighs in at 79 grams. This is a big, big, solid piece of steel. Now they do make them in other materials, etc. So I'm assuming the weights probably vary, but if you want something like this, absolutely beautiful brushed steel uh, model, uh, bear, bear in mind that we're talking about a heavy pen here. This is not a light pen by, uh, by any means. So what you basically have here is what gives you the illusion of one solid piece of steel. And that illusion is really done quite perfectly. Now to refill it, you actually twist it and you see there is actually an opening there. We'll get to that in a minute, but it's so well machined that that gap pretty much completely disappears and you basically have the illusion of a single unbroken uh, piece, which really looks just terrific. Um, everything's very precise here, etc. The clip, very, very industrial looking clip that sort of fits the rest uh, of the pen. It is a very tight clip, I will, I will, I will say, I will say that. So um, um, it will hold securely, but if you have something very thick, that you needed uh, to clip it to, you know, that would be a bit of a challenge because this clip is tight and it has these two kind of nice rivets that are look to be very, very securely holding this thing on. So I don't think that you have to worry about this clip falling off or anything like that. Um, it has their branding uh, um, uh, etched, I guess that's laser etched uh, on, on, the, on there very, very discreetly, but done very, very well. Now let's get to the, 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 the whole thing about this pen. It's this bolt action uh, retraction mechanism, which is really just something to see uh, or feel or hear, however you want to do it. It really, it really um, covers all the senses. So it looks really cool. Um, it sounds great. It's just got this really satisfying click mechanism. As a matter of fact, you don't need a fidget spinner if you have this, you could just spend all day uh, clicking this thing around. Um, it works really, really solidly. So what you basically do is it's got this U-shaped, or more, I should say more like J-shaped channel, and you just kind of coax it around, and then the spring will take it the rest of the way. So you just start to push it, and then the spring action kind of pulls it or the rest of the way, either, either direction. And it's got some pretty, pretty, like I said, forceful working. Um, I don't know much about guns or anything like that, but it dev definitely seems to be reminiscent of like um, the bolt on like a an old rifle or that or that kind of thing. But um, it uh, definitely uh, is a very sort of satisfying clicking mechanism. Uh, it's not particularly quiet, as you can see. So if you're in a meeting and you need to pull out your pen, I suggest you get the get it all ready to write before the meeting starts because uh, this thing is going to be probably one of the louder louder pens there, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty much by design. This is meant to really be a very, very definitive clicking mechanism. And at that, it does a fantastic, fantastic job. Now, in terms of writing, it's a ballpoint. So the writing experience is really going to be 
very uh, much dependent on the refill you use. And here's the good news. This uses standard um, Parker style refills. So you can open this up. So of course the little spring in there. There's uh, an O-ring there as well for sealing purposes. Again, all really, really well made. Um, it came with a very kind of generic Parker refill. But here's the really nice part. I can take my very favorite um, uh, uh, refill that's compatible with this, which is the Schmidt Easy Flow in my case, and I can simply put my Schmidt Easy Flow in this pen because Again, it's using standard Parker type refills, which probably are, are the single most common uh, uh, ballpoint refill around. It's probably the closest thing to a global standard uh, ballpoint refill. So there we go, and works flawlessly as you would expect. So that's, that's a really good uh, feature of, uh, of this pen is that you can avail yourself of the, of the large inventory of refills that are available around the world. There are refills that mimic the, the, the functionality of pressurized refills like a Fisher Space Pen. They even make mechanical pencil refills that are compatible with, um, with, uh, with uh, the Parker style. You can get them in quite literally any color you can imagine. So the, um, the, uh, the uh, uh, choices are really, really quite, quite numerous. Um, so, like I said, this is, this is just, I, I really, really am liking this pen quite a bit. I think it, I think it looks great. Um, like I said, this is a really beautiful um, a steel material. They make an incredible array of colors and materials. So, I would really encourage you to go to their website. The link will be in the show description and um, we can um, we can go go from uh, go from there um, I think it's about time to see this thing right like I said the writing experience on ballpoints as you know is really determined by the refill but it's good to see it right anyway and I'm going to show you that right now okay folks what we're writing with here is a bastion bolt action ballpoint pen and uh, in case you're interested this is a Schmidt easy flow uh, refill now this is this is pretty comfortable in the hand. It doesn't have any sort of defined section. So because obviously this is the whole look of this is designed to just kind of come down here. So there's, you know, you don't have any kind of defined section, which means you can hold it as high or as low as you want. It does also mean you don't have anything to kind of put your finger against if that's important to you. It doesn't really matter to me, obviously at all. But I could, you know, um, uh, I could see that uh, uh, for some people might be an issue. The other thing that's not a problem is you don't have to worry about any, because of this pen is completely symmetrical all the way around, you don't really have to worry about any of the parts of the pen kind of poking you. You can hold this, like if you hold it like this, neither the bolt nor the clip are really going to hit your hand, but I've held it with all of this stuff kind of poking into my hand even, and it's just very sort of smooth and non-obtrusive. So any way you hold it, any way you kind of grab it, is going to work fine. You're not. It's it's plenty. It's plenty long. It's plenty comfortable. Um, I really really like it quite a bit. So once again, big big shout out to uh, our friends at Bastion Pens for sending this. Uh, I really liked it quite a bit. Um, uh, again, um, uh, it's it's a it's a very nice nice ballpoint uh, ballpoint pen. The you. Your, how you like this pen or not like this pen, I think is really going to rest on whether you are really into this bolt action kind of mechanism. I personally think it's really cool. This is extremely well made and well crafted. Um, I can't, I can imagine this being a buy for life type of thing. I can't, I, I it just, just doesn't look to me like this is, this is going to ever be a problem. I think these are going to, this is, this does look like the kind of thing that, that lasts pretty much forever. Um, very rugged. Uh, Etc. So if you if you like this type of bolt action, um, which I have to say is kind of addicting, just uh, in terms of uh, clicking it around, um, you will like this uh, pen. So.
If you could all please like, comment, share, and subscribe, I would very much appreciate that. And as always, until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.